What's up StarCraft fans, you are watching a co-op mutation, I am CTG and today we are doing Worn Out Welcome on Temple of the Past. I am playing this time as Phoenix Network Administrator. This will make each champion stronger the more of its type of shells there are. Uh, for example, a Kaldals will get stronger the more um, Legionnaire shells there are. Kalarian will get stronger the more Carrier shells there are. Um, so I want to make, get 20 supply of each. Uh, my masteries for this one will be offline energy regen, so I can use Phoenix more frequently. I will use champion air life and shield, so my champs will stay alive for longer. And finally, 29 points on chrono boost efficiency and one point on solitary, one solitary point on extra starting supply, just so it gets supply block to start. Um, yeah, my ally Ankalagan is going in as Stukov. Thank you to the legendary Sinner, who is supporting me in the immobilization rate here. And Darth, my Chatteris, and Shadow Archon who are supporting the Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. So, Temple of the Past is again the map where we have to defend the middle of the map. The temple at the middle of the map from the enemies coming in from all sides. Now, if Fino and Kalagan, one thing I really like about him is he's not, he, is he's not afraid to use less than, less, than, less than optimal commanders on mutations and kind of meme with them. I, I actually like it when he does that. I wonder what's gonna do with Stukov. I wonder. I wonder if he's using P2 Stukov, just for the sake of using it. We'll see. We will have three mutators for the day. We'll have inspiration. Enemies or non-heroic enemies get buffed by hybrid when they are close by. We will have just die. All enemy units revive, revive upon death, and long-range enemies shoot faster. Just yes, I don't feel that last mutator. I'm just uh. Crazy or something. Start the game, good luck, have fun to my ally. The way to negate long range is by spawn camping the enemy. 51% win rate, that's way too high. Anyway, enemies not Zerg? That is nice. I actually like that. I'll probably start a uh, pylon soon so I don't get myself supply blocked. Start one over here. One over here. Alright. I hope I won't be supply blocked. I know this build will make me not supply blocked if I do it properly. The question is, will I do it properly? It looks like the answer is just going to be barely a yes. Yeah, I didn't get supply blocked that time. That's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, so we'll also want... Wait, Kaldi, our Legionnaire, takes about something something seconds. I'll get a... Uh, a refiner or an assimilator out, and I'll start another high line so I won't get plug blocked once I start Kaldi Waldi. We'll get. Actually, let's, let's get the second gas. Might as well. We might as well. Start saturating that. Okay. High line will complete. Nice. And we're not supply blocked. Pretty happy about that. All right, let's start. Let's start Kaldi Waldi. Start this. We'll start a Twilight Council. We can start the upgrade. Then resume worker production. Actually, we'll actually also want another pylon, so we keep getting not supply blocked. I like getting not supply blocked. I think it's pretty fun. I do recommend not getting supply blocked. Okay. Yeah, Palin's on the way. We'll probably break that and then run back to the first wave, wherever it lands. Yeah, just send this thing here. Also, I want to put all my champions in a single control group. Because whenever your champions are in a single control group, when your champion dies and gets replaced, the, uh, the replacement champion will immediately be included in the, uh, in the new control group. So it's actually really good to have... Uh, the champions in the control group so that you can just keep attack moving the champion control group and it'll always get auto replaced. That's a pretty big, that's okay. Lord of the Horde, okay, I, I actually thought he was going to use a meme, a meme strategy. Still good. Still pretty good. Okay, if Call defaults, I'll just uh, use the next thing. Okay, we'll get a robo here. Oh, we actually won that. I'm pretty happy. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Don't have to uh, replace that that particular shell. 
Okay, we'll start... Actually, get another pylon down here, so, so we don't get to play blocked. I'll probably have to use... Alice yeah, breaking his rocks. I'll... Let me actually help him out. I'll, I'll use... The, uh... I'll use the, uh... The Phoenix suit. Whichever one comes out. To deflect the attack wave. Here it comes. Yeah, we'll, we'll help out our ally. We're a good ally, guys. Okay. Use that. I keep forgetting that Akon Dollar. Th that this is not Akon Dollar, and I keep thinking that Phoenix will despawn or something. Of course, that is not the case. Okay. Smash through these things. These Dragger Goons. Alright. Let's keep saturating. Let's get double gas. Get this. Get Talus. Get Immortal. Get Taldaran. I will just start start to ramp up our uh, our upgrades and stuff. Okay. Oh, nice. Actually, it's a ground hybrid. It's a ground hybrid, meaning uh, this is this is the 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 double the double spawn wave on the sides. Right than the one in the middle. And that's fine. Doesn't mean much. Right now. But later on, it'll manifest the differences. Start stuff there. Get another pylon down here. You know what? Yeah, let's... Actually, let's just put stuff there. Okay. Taldaran is still on the way. Let's get another... Let's get more stuff. Let's just get more stuff. Yeah, just keep getting more stuff. Smash this. Attack wave. Get Taldarn over here. Smash that spot. We'll get this and then the armor. Get another Robo. Enemy is Ground Protoss Classic. That is absolutely fine. We'll want... We'll want detection later. But a lot later. You know, not immediately. It's not an immediate concern. It is a, it is a future concern, but... A future concern, not an immediate concern. So, uh, with with the uh, network administrator prestige, you want twenty supply of each shell to maximize the damage output of your uh, of your uh, out of your uh, um, champions. So you, the way to count that is by uh, looking at the purifier conclave and checking the number at the uh, at the command card. Actually, my ally is right on this. I actually want to burst it down, make that not a thing. There we go. Make sure that there aren't any probes here. Okay. So you want 7 Kaldalases, 10 Taluses, I think 5 Taldarins, 3 Warbringers, um, 7... 7 Mojos, and 3 Kolarian shells. That is a magic number. Or the magic numbers, plural. Okay. Let's wait. Let's wait for him to break that. That is fine. Okay. Okay. Just yeah. Just smash that. Okay. We'll want one more, Kaldi. You want two more Warbringers? Where's Warbringer? Bring him over here. And then we'll uh, find some more stuff to upgrade. Get that. That's a pretty good upgrade. Okay. Smash this. Kill that. Uh, kill that Reaver. That Reaver is kind of dance game. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm supply blocked. Let's get some more pylons. One of the biggest challenges with uh, with Phoenix P2 is actually just macroing up and spending all your, all your money. Because not not because uh, not because uh, well because it's particularly hard because. Uh, Phoenix's units are cheaper, which means the the production cycles are a lot faster, twice as fast even. Math checks out, guys. All right, one more Taldarn and one more Warbringer. Do it. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pull back. Gotta pull back. Okay, make sure this probe is in the control group. Okay, one more Warbringer. 
Or one more, uh, Kaldalis. Okay, three more Taluses. Okay, I have cleaned it out. Let's teleport over here. Start running over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have enough, we have enough, uh, Warbringers. Alright, we are making pylons still. We are A-OK. -okay. okay, send all the champions there at the side. Okay, we'll get the- uh-oh. That's bad. They might have, uh... Okay, that's kinda bad. Oh, I haven't actually fully saturated my expansion. That's kinda bad also. It's not- it's not that big of a deal though. You can just, uh... Oh wow, that's actually a thing. That's actually a thing. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah, destroy these. Make these not a thing. Alright, awesome. Okay, my ally's right here. He is... <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was gonna meme. It, 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 was getting, it was getting a little suspicious. Why is my ally memeing it? Why isn't Ankalaga memeing it? There he is. He's massing queens. It's not, it's not a bad meme, actually. Not that bad of a meme, but it is still a meme. Okay, let's get some uh, mojos. Okay, Vasher will be here soon. Oh, never mind. There's attack wave over here. Okay. Allies right there. He's bursting it down with his brood queens. Or at least I think so. There it is. He's, uh, he's spamming like... Uh, He's spamming like uh, spawn broodlings or something. At least, at least what I think he's doing. Okay, we need one more Kaldalis. Two more Talus. Okay. Oh, there is Kolarian. All right. Get more mojos. We'll grab a couple of cannons here for detection, and then we'll start producing. Pylons on this side of the map. All right. Let's get. I don't actually have anything here yet. Let's retreat for a while. Oh, never mind. My ally's here. Oh, and Mojo's also here. Nice. Where's my fleet bacon? Mmm, fleet bacon. All right. Oh wow, it just, it just got destroyed. My goodness. Uh, I might have been a little over eager there. Alright, let's pull back a little bit. That was kind of bad on my part. Just kind of, not really bad. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to tell me I'm bad, guys. You're not allowed to tell me I'm a bad player. Whether or not it's true. That is, those are the rules. You know the rules, guys. Okay, we're making more stuff here. Maybe I should make more, uh... The forge, or two more forges, and one more, uh, yeah, two more forges and one more cybernetics core. Okay, we're gonna fight these, uh, yeah, these enemies over here. And then we're gonna send our army over here to intercept the, uh, the Void Thracer. Okay, let's refill. Oh, we need more Clolarians, okay. I can I can range that. All right. Um. Get some upgrades. Might as well chrono that. Okay. Um. What do we need? What are we short on? I guess two mojos. All right. We're gonna we want to see where the next attack wave is. Let's have. The Predator suit here, just in case. Actually, we might as well put down a pile over here. We're we're starting to fill up money. We we'll want some cannons and stuff to help defend. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure the champions are in front. Only the champions are fighting because the rest of the army is pretty weak. Okay, replace the ones we lose. Actually, we'll, we'll add in a uh, conservator over here. Forgot that conservators were a thing. Alright. We'll replace one of these. Uh, Colossus. 
replace a uh, Atalus. There it is. All right, cool. Let's pull in our army over here, except except the conservator. We'll put down some more cannons over here. Get these upgrades. Get these upgrades. Oh wow, that's not good. That's actually not good. My whole army is stuck over here. I actually didn't want my uh, my arbors to be focused down. That is kind of really bad. It's actually kind of really bad. Cause the uh, the next wave, uh, I will not be able. To, I will not be actually actually fight that. Cause my army is stuck on the other side, and most of my army is ground based. That's a bit of a concern. That's a bit of concern. That's a bit of concern. That's a bit of concern. They actually destroy my dudes. Well, not really. It's just my army. My whole army stuck over here. That's bad news. I can use this, kind of hold the line. But yeah, I'll I'll, swar I'll open more stuff here. They're weak, but like they're the only stuff that are there. You know, you know the saying, guys. The best abil the best ability is availability. And that's all I have now, right now. Alright. Yeah, my guys are still stuck. Over there. That's really bad. Well, we are cleaning out this wave. So that's something. That is definitely a something. Not a lot, but it is a something. I lost my probe. Feels bad. Oh, they just warped in the middle of my, my production. Make another... Mortal? More scouts? Okay, yeah, wipe these out. I mean, army's stuck! How, how long? 30 seconds until my army's available. There we go, we have something now, we have something, finally. Also, did I, did I lose my twilight? I was just upgrading something else. Okay, my uh... Actually, I have to do this. Alright. We'll need more scouts. That's going to die pretty fast. That's going to go down pretty fast. Okay, we'll need more Taluses. We'll need more Kaldis. Okay. Let me group everything up over here. Oh, my ally was able to get this side. Too much memeing. Ally was memeing a little too much. <laughs> That's fine. No, not a big deal. I don't want to lose Phoenix again. Definitely don't want to lose Phoenix again. All right, destroy this Arbiter. Make that not a thing. All right. I'll have to let my ally engage that. Is he... Okay, he's kind of struggling, but he is still there. We gotta, we gotta make our way. Oh, pylons. Need more pylons. Yeah, let's make these pylons over here. And engage using my champions. We're gonna replace the champions, that's fine. Uh, the important thing is we are engaging with our champions. Yeah, just keep engaging. Oh, wow, that's bad. Okay. All right, keep going. We need two more Warbringers. Ella is just not, just barely not dying. Okay, Let's get these last upgrades. All right, we'll need three more Kaldis. Well, we need four, but that's also fine. Okay, keep going. Keep fighting with our champions. Okay. I wiped out most of it. Pretty happy about that. I I, I, wiped, out, I wiped out most of it. Okay, Talos is over here. Ready to fight. I wonder if my ally will even be able to clear that Thrasher. Looks like he's just barely holding. 
barely holding. I'll clean out this wave though. Oh, I'll need detection. Or alternatively, I can just snipe snipe out these uh these arbiters. If I snipe the arbiters, they'll no longer be cloaked. Of course, that's a big if. All right. Hey, he finally did it. Nice, good job, ally. He actually managed. We actually managed to fight that last basher. And hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have any idea what else you can do, please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score. I think we got all bonuses though, but unfortunately we were not able to get all the. Uh, we were not able to get perfect temple health. I was kind of memeing. I think he made mass queens. He should have just made bunkers. Um, queens are good. It's it's some way. It's one way. One way to spend your gas and like a good source of burst damage. But like, I don't know. I feel like just having more you know stuff to throw at the enemy would have been nicer. But it's his game. He makes his calls, and he's better. He's a better call player than I am. So. I'll give him the benefit, of the, the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, looks like um, I had more kills this time. That's pretty nice. 125 APM. Look at that try hardness. Look at that try hard. Look, Stu Cobb with 100 APM is way too much. I guess that's because he was microing his queens and stuff. He made 75 brood queens. That's a lot. And he lost 8 of them. He made so many brood queens. Did he even make bunkers? I don't see infested troopers on here. Did he even make bunkers? Did he, did he go load of the horde without getting a single bunker? I didn't actually check. He might have done that. What a madman. What an actual madman. Alright guys. Um. Yeah. This one's uh. This one's straightforward. Conceptually. But you have to get a strong. A strong base. A strong foundation. Of something to keep you anchored. In your defense. In this case, I, I had my champions. You can also have heroes. And like, strong macro. You need a strong foundation here. Know your commander, know your prestige. And then leverage that to keep the temple alive. I'll see you guys next time.